Hello everyone. So this week will be a little different as I haven't got a game review for you. Instead I want to review some other different format. I want to talk about a book today. No, don't click off. Books and movies tend to be a big source of what video games get their narratives off. Where would we be without such classics as Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, Ring World, Alien or Middle Earth? We wouldn't have stuff like Cyberpunk 2077, Halo, Metroid or even the Zelda games. So I do believe we should take a look into other mediums for the future of games and their narratives. So to start off I decided to look at a sci-fi book called All Systems Red The Murder Bot Diaries by Martha Wells. Well I'm holding right now. It is about a security bot who calls itself Murderbot and it's dealings with an exploration team who are trapped on another planet after realising their equipment they were given off is faulty and their neighbouring team has disappeared. All Systems Red has a pretty simple premise for the most part. It's just um, find out what happened to the other team and get off the planet. But what makes the story interesting is that we see it all through Murderbot's eyes, not the humans. You see, this book's world is set in the distant future where corporations rule, aka your, your cyberpunk plot 101. They bid off contracts of different planets to, and the winners get to check it out before they have to settle on it. Here's the thing though, these worlds have barely been studied and that's kind of the point, they want people to study it and they want to study it. That's where the security bots and such came in, to basically protect the teams. Murderbot though is pretty unique as it hacked his own systems, basically making itself self-aware and to a certain degree a person. I'm not sure to the extent of how human it is, as we never really see another security bot to in or interact with them, should I say, to the point that we can get an idea of what they're supposed to be like. But the unfortunate thing for Murderbot as a person, it is a nervous wreck. It basically acts as the nerdy girl in school who's too shy to talk to anyone. It'd rather have people leave it alone so it can watch its soap operas. And yeah, Murderbot really loves its soaps. It'd rather be watching them instead of interacting with people, but it puts up with them out of fear of being discovered that it hacked itself and being taken apart essentially. You know, your typical robot plot thing there. All Systems Red's writing is great, but it doesn't seem it at first. The book's from Murderbot's perspective, so we read all of his thoughts as well as his actions, which are all over the place. One minute it's being really distant and wanting to watch it, only wanting to watch its soap operas, but the moment the human's in danger, Murderbot brings into action without hesitation. The writing shows the struggle of, of this thought pattern really well, which makes it seem very unfocused, but it's all part of the plot as you'll find out why in the end of the book. I won't spoil the ending because it's, well, it's the end is the big point. So I do recommend All Systems Red if you like sci-fi action with a good sense of humour and a little mystery to it, but this is a novella, essentially meaning it's um, about 150 pages and it costs quite a bit of money. £9.50 this cost me. Yeah, you could get a lot of book for that price. So it's a bit steep for an entry for a book this size, to be quite frank, but I will say it is worth it, and I do recommend Murderbot. Right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will be coming back with some more game reviews in the future, maybe some more book stuff. If you like this video, give it a like and maybe subscribe. Bye.